Hi and welcome back. I've got here an old vintage Johnson 3 horsepower outboard motor. It's got really low compression as you can see when you pull over. So I'm going to show you today how to do a compression test on one of these engines. So to start with I remove the cowling underneath the engine like that. So now once that cowling's off you're going to see the two spark plugs. It's a little twin engine. It's two stroke. So you want to start by removing the spark plugs make sure you don't mix up the two wires you can do one at a time then you're sure not to mix up the wires now here's my compression tester it came with different tips uh, for today I'm going to use this tip here so now just screw it into the spark plug hole right up to the o-ring don't over tighten it you don't need to You just want it in there snug, that's it. So now pull the motor over until the gauge stops going up. So it's going to peak at a certain level here. So it won't go over 60 pounds. So that's the reading in the bottom cylinder, 60 pounds. Now I'm going to push the reset button, take the air out, and repeat the process in the other cylinder. So here goes uh, cylinder number two. This is where this one peaked at, so approximately 70 pounds. It's pretty low, as was the other one at 60, so the motor will not run with low compression like that. I would say we need at least 90 pounds plus to say it works good. What I'm going to do now is take off the cylinder head so we can have a look inside. So I've got all the bolts off. Take that off. So here's the head. It's got rust in there, so water must have got in there at one point. So the pistons move freely in the cylinders. And there's just a bit of rust inside the cylinders there, so I would imagine that the piston rings are stuck to the pistons. And I don't know if you can still get rings for these motors. model JW-20B serial number C45 7 653 if anybody knows if I can get parts for these let me know so I've since spoken to the owner since I had it all apart it's still apart right now and he decided that it wasn't worth it for him to spend all the hours on labor fixing it so I ended up inheriting it for parts and to do what I want with it